It's clearly the question on everybody's lips before the France-Poland game, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> After the encounter with Argentina, Chesney was the hero. Well, kind of. I mean, he did let in two goals, but he saved a penalty from Messi. And it was actually his second penalty that he saved in this year's World Cup. So you come out of a game like that, you've qualified, and then you learn that you're going to face Mbappe's France. Oh, and then you say this during the press conference. They're clear favourites, they're one of the best teams in the world, but we'll do our best to get through. The key to stopping Mbappe, me. Well, Chesney, we don't want to bring back bad memories, but the only time that you have faced Mbappe this season, he did score a banger past you. Yeah! Yeah! We're really looking forward to this game on Sunday, and let's hope there's another penalty shout and another VAR check. Because if so, Chesney will be placing bets like nobody's business. <laughs> Before the penalty and the VAR, I spoke with Messi and I bet him $100 that the referee wouldn't give a penalty. Eventually, he awarded one and I lost the bet with Messi, but I won't pay him. He doesn't need it. Come on. Just rock, paper, scissors will do next time, man. We want to see a bit of action during these VAR checks. Who would have thought it? It was part time in Belgium after their draw with Croatia. Absolute scenes in Belgium. But the celebrations weren't for Belgium's elimination. Rather, Morocco's victory. The Moroccans have the right to celebrate after their victory over the Canadians, but not only that, they did qualify as group winners. And while that was going on in Brussels, just take a look at how Doha was. Madness. She's got a pair of lungs on her. Seems like someone got the wrong game wearing Salah's shirt. Someone might want to tell them that. Morocco were on fire while it was heartbreak for the Belgians. Big Romelu Lukaku will be bemoaning his bad luck. A post, some missed chances and a classical nil-nil that got under the interstrike skin. It was a sad end for the Belgium's golden generation, but Big Rom can count on the support of legendary striker Thierry Henry. Dembele is scared of cats? Huh? Have you, wait, How wait. <laughs> Kolo Mwani has given us the anecdote of this World Cup. Just take a listen. A little anecdote? Usman is afraid of cats. Yeah, cats. When we eat outside, there are cats walking around and Usman is afraid. That makes everyone laugh a bit. Normally we love learning about players. Who's the funniest? Who plays the music in the dressing rooms? But that? Usman Dembele is scared of cats? No one could have guessed that one. As long as he's producing the goods, we really don't care. Another player has been having his say, Kingsley Coleman. We would like to understand better because if the situation presents itself again, then we will know how to respond. It is a bit new that the referee whistles at the end of the match before disallowing a goal. We would like to know more. Ah, well, I assure you, Kingsley, we would like to understand it too. Personally, it was a little bit like playing a foot champs game. You just can't write it. Even TF1, the number one channel in France, went off air when France equal because the referee had whistled for the game to end but luckily it didn't cost either of the teams qualification because if that was the case there would have been a real scandal 